G'day everyone. We just want to do a quick setup video of our double stretches. Uh, this is a brand new product we've designed and patented ourselves. It's designed to go with our queen swag, but can be used with a lot of double swags. We just want to run you through the right procedure so you don't have any issues. And once you get the hang of this, it's really easy. First step in setting us this stretcher is to put on the leg extensions. The next step is to put in your folding end bars. If you put the end bars in the loose end of the material first, it won't hold in place, so you need to figure out which end of the stretcher the material is bunched up towards and put it in the opposite end so you can keep a little bit of tension on that end bar and keep it in position. If you have a bit of trouble getting your second end bar in, it might be because the material is tensioned up too tight. So what you'll need to do without the end bars in is just adjust the Velcro underneath and that will make it easier to get the end bars in. You do want a bit of tension on the material so when you put the end bars in, it will hold in position. So don't back the Velcros off too much. Just get it in a place where it'll hold the end bars into position. The good news is once you've done this once, you shouldn't have to do it again. And now it's time to put our turnbuckles in. If you're just using this stretcher for yourself just to spread out, you won't need the turnbuckle set. But if you're using it as a couple, this is the secret to this stretcher. The turnbuckles tension up the tension strap down the middle and, and that's what stops you from rolling into each other too much in the middle while you're sleeping as a couple. So basically with these turnbuckles, you just want to get them into position first, get all four in place, because uh, they're only just long enough to reach the, the hooks. Uh, but once you've got all four in place, then you can tension them right up. Now we don't cover our end bars under warranty because you can crank these things up so much that you'll bend the steel in the end bars. So it's really up to you as the user to not over tension. So what we recommend is to tension this end bar until it's straight. The end bar starts with a pre-engineered curve in the bar. If you tension the turnbuckles up to that bar straightens out flat, you're, you're at the right tension. If you go beyond that, you risk bending your bars and as I've said, that's not covered under warranty. You need to be careful not to over crank your turnbuckles. So our next step is just to click over the stabilizing latches. This will just help eliminate a little bit of end-to-end -end movement in the stretcher. And from there we put in the leg stabilizers. The legs will bend without these, so these are very important. Because there's so much leverage on these legs, because it's an extra wide stretcher, um, these leg supports give it the strength it needs to carry, carry the weight and keep everything strong. all set up. I'm just quickly going to show you to how to set up our queen swag on top of the stretcher and how it locates, just so you can understand how that works. We use little Velcro tabs to hold the swag down to the stretch and that just stops the swag from riding up the poles. You can see that better at this end. The poles locate into the stretcher frame, then you have to pull down on your swag corner and attach the Velcro as tight as you can. It's a good idea to do this before you attach the swag to the poles because once you've done that it gets much harder to locate the bottom of the swag and the stretcher. It's much easier to do that first and then to attach your poles. This is a pretty cool feature of all our stretchers. We include this spring bar which connects into the base of the stretcher and holds out your end awnings. It just saves you having to peg it down to the ground. And there we are, that's the stretcher and swag all set up. There is a fly as well. Pictures of that on our website if you want to have a look how that looks all set up. Okay, now let's break it down. Let's do it quick so it's not too boring to watch. 
pack up's the exact reverse of setup. Um, so yeah, it's not too much to say. Just make sure you keep the material out of the poles and it just packs up a lot neater if you can do that. Leg extension's off. Traps will help hold it all together and it just goes in the bag much, much easier if you do this first. As always with our bags, our bags are quite generous and fold down flat so it's very easy to get the stretcher back into the bag. We use two bags for this stretcher and that just keeps the weight of any one bag down. Much easier to carry and cart around. 